Okay, so now we've got um, one of our scenes set up, our viewpoints. Um, we want to think about making a couple of renders. So one of them is going to be uh, focused on this wall here, but I also want to do another render sort of um, flat on to uh, the oven wall. So if I just sort of scroll out of the room a minute and hide the ceiling, so we want the camera to be looking uh, this way, flat on towards the hob. Um, sometimes it's um, a bit difficult to fit everything in from within the room. Um, you can see the sort of the walls in the way a little bit. So what we're going to do is use a section plane, uh, which basically just slices um, through the model and uh, allows you to um, set up a render shot as if the walls weren't there. So we go to this uh, little thing on the left, uh, the section plane, and bring it in, and then you just hover it over whichever sort of wall or axis you want, and it will snap into place. In this case, we want the green axis. So just click it once. You can name it if you want, but I don't bother with that. <laughs> then OK. Then you click anywhere on the sort of outline of it so it turns blue. And then just with a normal move tool, um, I'll do a shortcut key. I'll just press M, which activates the move tool. Then you can just click it, and then you can just drag it forward and back to wherever you uh, want it to be. So let's just put it about there, then click it again to um, set the position. And then I want to actually hide the, um, the section plane outline because it just gets in the way. So you just go to hide section plane, but uh, we keep the cut. And then just scroll in to um, whatever um, whatever view you want, something like that looks good. A bit closer. Okay, and then I'm going to right click and add a scene. So that saved the viewpoint, and it's also saved um, the section plane within the model. So if we go back to our original scene, um, the section plane is hidden. But then we go to the new scene and we can see the section plane is active. So let's do a test render and see how it looks. Okay, so what I can see is there's far too much light coming in uh, to the room. You can see with this sort of whiteness here. And the reason for that is V-Ray, the rendering program, is um, calculating the scene as if this wall has literally been sliced off. So it's letting all the sunlight into the into the room where in reality this is only meant for the camera angle so to um, avoid that situation you go up to V-Ray and then this little cube here which um, will display the section plane or any any section planes you've got in the model and then you go to options and then you click this little box effect light so you uncheck it basically so there's no tick there so now you get the view um, through the wall but the render program V-Ray, um, for the purposes of light, is still calculating that a wall is there. So if we go back to our scene, and now we click it, you've only got the light coming from the window on the left, which is correct. We haven't got the light coming from the back wall.